Tesla Semi is ready and in my previous report I reported that Tesla will debut 15th Semi truck this year with PepsiCo. Now this is confirmed once again because Tesla is launching its new heavy duty tracking department. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. And if you find this report informative, please share in social media and give us thumbs up and like. That helps us tremendously. So the automotive world is anxiously anticipating the Tesla Semi. And it turns out the EV leader Tesla just got one step closer to production of Tesla Semi. To the end, to that end actually, Tesla recently created a new heavy duty tracking department, which will oversee the development and production of the Tesla Semi and possibly other electric uh, vehicles in the or haulers in the future. Clean Technica reports that Tesla's president of automotive pre-March until March, Jerome Guillem, was announced as the new president of heavy duty tracking by the automaker Tesla. Tracking has been a long time passion for Mr. Guyen. In the past, he served as general manager of the tracking company Freightliner, and Jerome's prior responsibilities at Tesla included being, quote, overall leader for the Tesla truck program, end of the quote, as a vice president in the truck division of the company. And now Clean Technica notes that Clean Technica interviewed Jerome in his Tesla Fremont office space in March 2019. In that interview, Jerome told Clean Technica the story of the Tesla semi's inception. Uh, you can find that at cleantechnica.com. Friends, Tesla informed the SEC um, of Guyen's new responsibility in a recent 8K filing, the public document notes the following, quote, as Tesla prepares to enter the critical heavy trucks market for the first time, Mr. Guyen will now, will now leverage his extensive background in this industry to focus on and lead all aspects of the Tesla Semi program, including the related charging and servicing networks. End of the quote. Re uh, keep in mind or take a note that it, it talks also about the charging and servicing networks. In addition, Tesla re recently released teaser video of the Tesla Semi zipping around the racetrack like a sports car and other spy shots have also surfaced via video snippets as well as on Twitter. Um, in fact, in that video, which I covered several days ago, I was personally surprised how loud Tesla Semi zipped in the truck, uh, in Tesla truck, and I was thinking that electric vehicles are... Um, have less noise but it was very interesting to see that maybe it's important uh, that the trucks make the noise to warn uh, people on the streets now in recent months tesla has made several changes to the design of the semi truck that showcase steady progress with the truck as it closes in on production when that time comes elon musk has noted that the semi will be produced at the automakers gigafactory nevada speaking of recent and changes and in design changes um, I'm going to tell you about the PepsiCo and the 15 Tesla semis debuting this year and also regarding that uh, semi design changes that they are done already and Tesla is not willing to do that for Australia because of the small size of Australian market and the size regulations of the Australian ro roads so keep listening because I'm going to tell that interesting part production was recently of uh, production of Tesla semi was originally slated to start last year. However, due to this virus and battery supply constraints, it's been pushed back to a date to be determined for later this year. Nevertheless, these delays are not stopping big clients from placing their Tesla semi orders for this class 8 electric uh, semi truck, the hauler. Later last year, Tesla received its biggest Tesla semi order to date, placed by Canadian-based 
Pride Group Enterprises. But now this year, we just reported this uh, before this report that Tesla is set to deliver 15 all electric semis to PepsiCo by the end of 2021, uh, by, by the end of this year. How This is how we know it. Earlier today, PepsiCo released a press release titled Frito Lake Cuts Absolute Fleet Greenhouse Gas Emissions in Half Reduced Diesel Usage by 78% at California Production Site entailing that that long title was the title now that uh, press release entailed the steps uh frito lay has taken to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 53 percent now you will say what does this have to do with tesla semi and debuting 15 of them Keep listening, friends. One way the company has done this so far is by replacing the equipment and infrastructure at the plant located in Modesto, California. PepsiCo has utilized nearly 60 tractors, box trucks, yard trucks, or forklifts powered by electric lithium ion technologies or natural gas with renewable at uh, attributes, it said. Additionally, it revealed that the remaining 15 electric tractors expected to deploy later this year. That was the quote about the remaining 15. Following the published press release, uh, Electric, uh, uh, Tesla and Electric Vehicle publication, Electric reported that PepsiCo confirmed the 15 electric tractors would in fact be the Tesla Semi, the long-awaited all-electric commercial vehicle from the world's leading electric automaker. Interestingly, the news comes right after a Piper Sandler investor's note that was released earlier this week that detailed the possibility of a stock sell-off in the instance that Tesla would delay deliveries of the Semi or the Cybertruck. The semi has been delayed on several occasions, friends. Tesla has cited battery constraints, like I said, issues, battery constraint issues at its main factory for the delays. You know, it takes uh, for like for whatever amount of batteries that it takes for Tesla semi, you can build five or six Model 3s and sell having more profits. That's why but battery constraints is an issue for Tesla semi's delay. However, the company has been accelerating its efforts to release the semi. This year, the semi has been spotted, like I said, several times on public roads for testing. And Tesla has also been running the vehicle at its Fremont factory test truck which I reported several days ago. Last year, Semi planned to begin a volume production push to the Semi. Uh, Tesla uh, planned to do that, but battery constraints uh, delayed the project again. Tesla has been dealing with increased demand for its vehicles over the past few years. It has introduced two mass market vehicles to the passenger market, the Model 3 in 2017 and Model Y crossover in 2020. These two vehicles have been Tesla's best sellers over the past several years, and the focus remains primarily on supplying them with the available battery cells to expand the company's footprint in the growing electric vehicle market. Tesla Radi reached out to PepsiCo to confirm, but they did not respond that these 15 vehicles were fr from Tesla, uh, testing se semis were from Tesla. But in the press release, Pepsi did list several companies, including Tesla and Volvo trucks. Now, by the way, like I said, uh, speaking of Tesla Semi and its international debut and Tesla's, Tesla's recent uh, size design changes, Tesla said unless Australia changes some of its tracking regulations related to the size of trucks, the country will miss out on the Tesla Semi trucks because... Tesla semi trucks are too wide for the Australian roads. Now, currently, Australia only allows trucks on its roads if they are 2.5 meters wider or less. Tesla says its electric zero emission trucks are between 30 and 50 millimeters wider than that. Although they confirm to rule the um, confirm to rules in the United States where. The limit is 2.6 uh, millimeters and the European Union where it's 2.55 meters. In a submission to the National Transport Commission's Heavy Vehicle National Law Review seen by the publication uh, The Driven, Tesla urged the government to change the rule, saying the Australian market's small size would likely mean Tesla would not make the adjustments necessary to sell its trucks here. Here's a quote. The commission will be aware that given Australia's small size in comparison to global markets, inconsistencies 
like this between Australian regulations and larger markets will delay or preclude vehicles coming to local markets, the submission says. And also Tesla added saying, Currently, Australia will likely miss out on the first generation of electric heavy vehicles such as the Tesla Semi because of this. The issue of difference between Australia and overseas rules has been a bugbear for a long time in the trucking industry. Some people and industry leading associates are in favor of changing them while the local truck manufacturers object the change of the rule, fearing the change will hurt their business. They are also concerned about safety implications. Well, friends, let me see what your thoughts are. We hope that Tesla will deliver its first batch of mass semi trucks this year, 15 of them at least, uh, nearly four years after it unveiled with a first prototype in November 2017. It will be exciting to see Tesla mass production starting with at least 15 uh, semi trucks with PepsiCo. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Thanks for listening and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or electric vehicle coverage and please uh, share in social media give us thumbs up and like this video that will help us to put it in front of more people and increase speed up the ev transition and help our environment have a great day friends god bless you and peace be with all of you see you soon in our next report